Kakigurui Twin is the prequel OVA to Netflix's acclaimed horny gambling series. As someone who enjoyed the lavish design and exquisite gambling games, I'm sure Twin continues that. Maybe I'll let you know when I actually watch it. You've been baited. But I mean, if you like pretty girls, insane riches, and a whole lot of nonsense, then do I have a tale for you? Million Yen Women is a Japanese dramedy mystery with a crazy enough hook to really get you guessing why is that? Shin Mishima is a novelist who can best be described as Bitch you live like this? It's even worse than Taiga from Toradora who must have stuffed his personality in one of those trash bags cause I swear homie's gotta get back to Johnny real soon. It's one of those that it's not really a demanding role and it's just a perfectly antisocial loser. A good one if you want to insert a non-actor celebrity that is looking to branch out and can promote the series. Hey, you might not recognize the face, but I'm sure you recognize the singing voice. Shin's life is getting flipped upside down, and as you can see, because on special request of a mystery sender, Shin is getting his very own dating sim harem. And he didn't even have to get hit by a truck to make that one happen. In this reversal of The Beguiled, a bunch of eccentric girls are coming to your house, and they're paying you for it. Is the deal of a lifetime all it's cracked up to be? Can Shin write the next great novel? Who's behind all this? And why does the fax machine keep sending him YouTube comments? And who still has a fax machine in the first place? When it comes to Million Yen Woman, I think what I didn't like about it is just things that it's not, but what it is is still pretty good. In reference to what it isn't, with its kind of outlandish premise and the fax machine messages, it flirts with a line of surrealism. I could have seen this show being logically inconsistent and without constraints, but rarely acknowledging it as being such. Akin to I'm thinking of ending things, or The Lighthouse, this could have been a playground of chaos, all under the conceit that there's more beyond the surface. There's this? It's me. No, it was me. At the very least, it would have been neat to do a little Nocturnal Animals, which lets the audience witness the fictional story of the author and sees both how the story is influenced by the real characters, as well as the impact it is having on Susan the reader. We actually get very little on what Shin's writing is like. It's just described as a new emotion, which is practically hot air. It's vague, out of this world, totally life changing, something you can't live without. This is analysis, not criticism. Just because it lacks the depth I potentially saw isn't a knock on the show just trying to give you a representation of where to set your expectations. For what it is, it's pretty enjoyable. Its initial premise reminds me of Mayuiga or The Lost Village. It is an anime that has a lot of built-in intrigue of why are all these weirdos going on a bus up the hill and where is this plot going? The show isn't quite as ridiculous as Lost Village, but instead of going in the direction of that one, it's more like the drama you would find in school days. Again, not exactly a one-to-one. -one but there's a lot of drama, and it's always interesting to see where they leave you hanging into the next episode. And it is very good at building up tension or emotions, mostly marked by its soundtrack swells. I know the two series are considered garbage, maybe rightfully so. It's taking the better elements of those two anime and not exactly shaping up the same quality. In terms of overall presentation, the story is closer to The Perfect Insider. Genuine intrigue, flat main character, slow build up to a mystery that isn't earth shattering but satisfying. If you like The Perfect Insider, you'll probably like Million Yen Woman, as it is essentially just... <laughs> If this show excels at anything, it's the acting, which across the board is pretty great. And the writing just hits all the right chords of making each character matter, propelling the narrative forward, and being distinct from one another, but not being tied to the character cliches. How about we get to the bottom of this? Hmm. <sighs> This is, uh, harder than I thought. 
I mean, I've been eating donuts all day and I haven't found any holes in this story at all. Maybe it's time to inquire about some help on this. I need someone whose questions always hit the mark. Someone with a real head on their shoulders. And maybe I can call Scott? Oh, um... John Spencer, the master of mystery with over 189 mystery anime under his belt. Were, were you just standing outside my office? That's a little convenient, but maybe you'd like to take a crack at solving who is the mystery sender behind the million yen women. I thought pretty hard about who, who could have sent the invites, and I've come up with three theories by episode nine. Mm -hmm. um, I say three theories, but uh, keep in mind that this, as I mentioned in, in the text, that it kind of depends on how you interpret certain facts that the show literally states. But I think that some of it's on translation with the subtitles. Mm. Um, yeah, that's very fair. So uh, that's that's why I'm giving you three theories, because uh, because one, there's a big piece of information that mm -hmm. if you assume is correct kind of forces you down one line of thinking but i also think oh. it's like the worst version of the story <laughs> so, so, so yeah, yeah i really don't want it to be that okay mm -hmm. so theory one uh, and this assumes that you take uh the whole conversation about the killer being a male figure as fact which i think is the part where the translation is the issue um because i don't think i don't think that the the person behind all this is male. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, what, what, put, what line are you? Are you uh, is uh, it, like, is it the one at the table oh, or like? Oh, um, um, the naked lady whose yeah. name I forgot. She says that she she states quite literally that that the uh, person who invited them and killed uh, Nanaka was a guy. Mm. Uh, but I think that's just a translation thing in the subtitles. I think it just defaulted to he instead of a they. Okay. Like, uh, there's a common language thing. Yeah, so no, I'm that, not, that checks out. I, don't, I mean, I can't prove that because I don't, I don't know. I, but that's my assumption is that that's just a translation issue and not actually true. But if we take that at face value, the only person it could be is... Um, the main character's editor that is the worst version of the story worst version uh, but of the he story. does have but he does have means motive and access so he could have done it but I, i'm gonna be real with you if, if that's it then i will be really disappointed because the show has red herring focused on that so hard that it would feel so underwhelming. Like it's way too easy if it's him. Mm. So, you, oh, so you think he's he's bait, basically? I think he's. I think that's a bait line of thinking. But again, I have to put it on the table because the show told me that the mm -hmm. killer is male. But I that see. just like, doesn't. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's one of those where it's like you can see his motive, but it's very simplistic, right? Because all it is to, yeah. is to like push the the novel or whatever. Yeah. Get the money. And, 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 and you know, and I could see like a world where maybe he eventually got brought in on it because because realistically, if this is a well written show, it has to be one of the the women in the house. Mm. Okay. That. Do you, do you that think the make, editor could really the be fun. the the bad guy though? He's such a goofy goofy guy. Uh, very... No, not really. <laughs> but but he does technically check the boxes in in terms of like what you need for mm -hmm. him to be the killer. The, so um, as, just as an aside, the show does a really good job with giving everyone means, but not necessarily motive or or access. So that, that's that's cool and interesting. Yeah. But uh, but that's that's the nice thing about them all being super rich ladies. <laughs> <laughs> they are all super rich ladies. They are crazy rich agents. They could all do it. <laughs> theory okay so um anyway that was theory one i think that's the least interesting theory of all time <laughs> what do you uh, mean? but i i do think it's possible just because of that language thing you want to give it a percentage uh, so, like 10 percent okay that's like um if 
if you wanted to like 40 chess think about it like galaxy brain think about it you could argue the same kind of logic extends to the female editor for the rival author oh. um, because she works at the same place that he does and so he, she has access to the same information mm-hmm. uh, that's a better story i'd be on board with that twist but uh it hasn't been set up so i no. don't what would her that. motivation be um well she doesn't want to lose she doesn't want to lose that guy no matter what and mm-hmm. uh see that's like kind of the issue like like uh, it, her whole motivation would have to be like a combination of i don't want to lose the client but i also like the rival author guy a lot so I want to eliminate his his uh, like love interest. Oh, light light Yagami. Uh, yeah. <laughs> why why anyway, is it not light Yagami? Or is that your is that one of your theories? No, he didn't do it. He he's did, bait. He's he's, he's, he's the bait. biggest bait of all time. <laughs> Just because yeah, he's, he's light he's Yagami, bait. you don't think he has a yeah. death now? <laughs> yeah, he's big bait. Okay, so anyway, that's that's all of mostly theory one. Um, if if it's the female editor, it's it's even smaller chance, but it is a better story. So mm-hmm. there you go. Theory two, because uh, again, I thought about it. I mentioned that the the author, the author's daughter, mm-hmm. she's a really good candidate uh, for for the inviter slash killer. The uh, and there's a, there's a quite a few reasons for that. The first reason is her flashback. Because every girl gets a flashback. Uh, her flashback is like the only happy one, where she doesn't really have any real motivations like the other girls do to oh. be there, other than she likes the author, yeah. which is the, I think the important motivation. She just likes the Shin mm-hmm. guy. Oh yeah. Well yeah, that's kind of a big piece, right? Like, why are you showing up to this man's house? So if she were the killer, she's got some things against her that make her compelling. Uh, one is again she just has a mismatched backstory she's not really running away from anything it's more like she's running to something which uh, that thematically makes her stand out differently Mm -hmm. uh, at least from what I've seen Um, the next thing that that is uh, an issue is that she is going out of her way to build this guy up and uh you know, you don't just do that for no reason. Yeah, that's kind of true. Because, yeah, so I, again, I've already said that she obviously likes the, the author a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, um... Well, doesn't everyone we, in the house like the author? Yeah, but I mean, they dedicate, like, whole special scenes to just this girl. And, mm. uh, like, like and, and how her... Uh, uh, feelings are really obvious for for him. They're like like they're they're different. You know what I mean? Like they're they're old out. They're yeah. specific. And and, um, and if you couple that with the fact that uh, she is aware of all of the other attempted relationships that Sheen takes with the girls in the house, she's witness for all of them or she has knowledge of all of them. So it could just be like, I'm jealous, so I killed them. <laughs> it, it's, it's not the best, but it is a better version than the editor. Uh, if I had to say likelihood, I like that one a lot better. So I'd say like 60, 70%, not terribly confident, but confident mm-hmm. enough. So that leaves us with um, the high school girl, the coma girl, uh, and then the the rival author's uh, like lackey. I don't even know who that guy is. The black haired guy who's just there. Why not the uh, actress? She's dead. Oh, maybe she's a really good actress. <laughs> so, I took any dead people off the table. Okay, so uh, so I'm just gonna walk through why I think each of them could but like for the most part it's like a thumbs down mm-hmm. uh, on, on these options okay uh the high school girl uh did just know she doesn't have any motive no motive <laughs> no motive No motive. you get no motive no motive no motive she 
she didn't do it. Um, uh, and if, if you want, like, the more damning thing is that uh, she didn't know how to hire a hitman. And since the, the lady was burned alive, there you go. She doesn't know how to do that, so she can't have done it. The end. <laughs> you could, there's probably a wiki how for, for that, right? Like... I'm just telling you, so, so she did not do it. Uh, at 100%. I am 100% sure she did not do it. Um, Black-haired rando guy. Um, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. He basically told you, I could not have done it, uh, like, in his character introduction. So he didn't do it. Oh, okay. uh, well, he has motive in that he doesn't like that author. But he he didn't know that any of these women were living with the author. And he didn't know their identities. Oh, so, oh yeah, the, the critic. Like... Mean. Yeah, the critic guy. Big meanie. He's just kind of there, but like the show kind of goes, maybe he did it, but maybe. it's like, no, for the same reason the rival author didn't do it, because that would be stupid. Maybe he's a generational <laughs> hater. No, so anyway, that guy didn't do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have considered Yuki, and here's the thing uh, I can totally see her as the person who invited and the killer. But I have one major hang up with it that maybe episode if I watched episode 10 in any capacity. So so she could become primes pr like I could change my previous two theories oh. to you. But it's contingent on it filling out her motivation better, because that's the one thing she lacks is motivation through episodes one through nine. She just she just doesn't have a motive. I'm very aloof. Mm -hmm. Like she doesn't interact with the other girls very much. She doesn't really interact with the main character very much. She's kind of just there, which means that we, the audience, don't know that much about her. Uh, we get to see her backstory a little bit. Uh, that's cool. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. N yeah. Like what? they're very good at balancing the cast and then she's kind of there. <laughs> yeah, and that makes her suspicious by default, just because we know the least about her. Mm -hmm. um, so, I can see the show deciding, yeah, that's that's who did it. I can see it, right? Like, she's just, the, the only thing they've done to set her up is she knew that the, uh, uh, the naked lady could deal with Midori's problem. So that like that's the one line of dialogue that condemns her prior to episode 10. And I feel like it's just kind of flimsy to say she did it mm -hmm. on one line of dialogue. <laughs> Motivation is clear enough. Maybe it's like a Phoenix Wright case where they say one wrong thing and then all of a sudden they like they just go Gah! and then they, you know, they, they freak out on the stand. Sure, but you understand what I'm trying to say here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the show hasn't done anything to really set her up. And so if it were her, which I think is it's possible, but I don't want to say that. I, I, she's not like the other two where I'm like 100% no way, impossible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she feels possible, but not set up. So, I mean... It would certainly be interesting if it was Yuki, and I and again I can see a world where it is. Uh, I just personally don't like it, and then I would argue against the show being a mystery yeah. show. I I like the author daughter th theory, whether it's right or wrong. I mean, who's to say? It's just if because you say like she's motivated by jealousy of these other girls, but when she have technically invited them to the house, like could have just invited yeah, but herself. She, but she too? wants the okay, but. You have to remember, she wants to have this author grow as a person. Mm, that's true. And so, um, all of these other women helped him grow as a person. That. Yeah, maybe it's someone it, you haven't given it. Have you considered that it's Shin's dad? He is dead. Oh yeah, he did. <laughs> he did. Well, maybe that's a red herring. Maybe he accidentally missed his appointment at the crematorium and uh, slipped away in the bathroom and he planned this all from the beginning he doesn't so he he doesn't have means or access 
So it just by default can't be him. Because he's in prison. He doesn't. He doesn't have music. Yeah, yeah, we know he can write letters, which, okay, I mm-hmm. guess he has the means to deliver a letter. But how would he have any connections to any of these women at all? What would his motive be to do this? And why would he want some of them killed later? You see, <laughs> no, that's a nonsense theory. That doesn't make any sense. Sorry to, to shoot down your dream. What if it's related to the fax machine mystery? Well, no, that was really obvious that the um, the grieving mom of the police officer was sending those facts because the messages changed episode to episode. And the few times, like when you saw those changes, uh, they always happened after he just visited her and they became hyper specific to whatever they just talked about. So it was actually really obvious that she was sending those facts. Yeah, that's fair. I, I At um, first, I thought it was just like... Uh... It was sort of that reputation, like somehow the they knew the fax machine of like people on the internet, like like trolls, you know. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, that would be uh, interesting. But I I did think the fax machine might be a little bit deeper, uh, but then the show j- literally just confirms that, and then the fax machine kind of stops being relevant, other than the the final message it spits out in a different style and everything. Thank uh, thank you. Cause that, yeah, that was my main, like the fax machine sets up almost this like a uh, surrealist element, right? That it's like some, like, it's like more of a metaphoric yeah. thing potentially or. Yeah. Well, it's like his hurdle, right? The fax mm-hmm. machine is, represents a, uh, you know, it's like a metaphysical barrier for the author guy. Yeah. All except for one character in the show is running away from something and lying to themselves about something. All of them are doing that, except for the author daughter. I just can't see what she's running from or lying to herself about. So, uh, I guess that they're all doing out. that, though. That one guy was so, running away from a car. <laughs> <laughs> well, you knew what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Those are my three theories. Oh, I didn't give my, my Yuki theory a uh, percentage. It's more likely than the editor one, just because it's more interesting. Mm-hmm. So by default, that makes it more likely. But I'd say it's less likely than the author-daughter theory. So now these percentages aren't going to add up to a hundred percent. Okay, I'm not. I'm not taking no, care no, no, for no, that. No. Yeah, are, these are feel percentages. I'd give that like a thirty to forty percent chance. Oh, so that's your main theory now. Uh. Or did I? No, author. Author daughter was at a 70. Oh, around okay. 70. okay. We, we, you know, the best part of a murder mystery is the murder. Do you, do you think our, our body count will increase in the three episodes you, ha- you have? Or Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. I think that there's one more murder. I think we're going to have one more. Any any theories on, on who's uh, who's next on the, the chopping block? Who? Uh, regardless of whoever sent the invites and has murdered people so far, they're getting killed. They're going to get their comeuppets. That would be, that would be, it just feels like the kind of story it is. So Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe not the, maybe the main character doesn't kill them. That would, quite honestly, that would be pretty satisfying, but I, I don't think the show's bold enough to do that. So I think that one of the other girls in the house will figure out the identity through pure happenstance it will be <laughs> pure chance and and there'll be a confrontation and it'll get heated in the moment and it'll be an accidental killing that's what i think oh so 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 whoever stumbles upon the actual person will accidentally murder the the uh the, the true culprit in in like a heat of the moment kind of thing Okay. That would be my guess. Just that makes the most sense because uh, I don't feel like the show wants any of the girls who are innocent to be like co- culpable. Like they they don't want to send them to prison. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. So, so you know, if it was like an like an accidental killing or something, it would feel a, a little a, bit a Disney uh, death, right? They're just gonna fall off a giant cliff somehow and die. Well, no, I mean, I mean. Uh, you know, like, 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 obviously like not a, a coffee a... table scene. Like, oh no, they tripped and 
then yeah, hit yeah. their head on the coffee table. Yeah, not, like, not, okay. not an actual cliff, but you know, like in Dis- in Disney movies, it's never the main ha- the main character doesn't like push them or they they just kind of fall. It's <laughs> conveniently. Um. So without giving me the answer, obviously, how 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 good did I do with just nine episodes of information? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we did talk about it a little bit in episode one, so obviously, like. I've fostered and developed these ideas a little bit as we went through. I guess just real quick, any any general thoughts on the the show, or did it make you feel a new emotion? <laughs> no, it didn't. Uh, I would say that the show's not bad, but I don't think it's good. Uh, like I said, as like a mystery show, I don't know. I feel like no matter how you slice it, it's either going to be way too obvious. Or it's going to have one of those moments where it goes, hey, we were withholding some pretty major information right up until we told you who it who did it. And then at that point, you don't have a mystery show or or it'll retroactively justify it by saying, well, look, we gave you these like two very <laughs> tiny random hints that 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 you, you should have just known. And it's like, OK, yes, I guess you might have given I'm talking about Yuki here specifically. Uh-huh. Yes, I as I mentioned, they technically gave one hint that I noticed for her specifically, if it is her, but it felt too small and too incidental for it to be realistic. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. like on its own, there needed to be more there. Like the cat serves no purpose in this plot. The cat is just there. The cat is the cat is just there. Uh, I do think, though, uh, if if the they wanted to give the cat a retroactive reason, the cat might be the thing that gives the the killer up because they did light the house on fire, and I feel like the killer might save the cat. Mm. Uh, that if 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 I wanted to make the cat matter, that is how I would do it. Uh, but again, I didn't. I'm not out of that part. What so if I can't the that. cat is the killer? killer cat i like how the girls think that the cat might be <laughs> one of the or- like the organizer for a little bit <laughs> or sent there on purpose that's so stupid but the cat is a is a secret robot cat sent there to to spy on all the women and the the author for this grand plan i'll give the show a 10 out of 10 yeah <laughs> being cliche three theories one of them is right i am a hundred percent sure one of those theories I gave you is correct. I just don't know which one. Your silence oh. tells me I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, I mean, so people can play a couple. Which yeah, theory do yeah. you think it is? Which one could it be? <laughs> Your silence told me I'm 100% right about one of those theories. <laughs> I mean, my silence could be just violence. Oh, uh, no, I think I, I think I surprised you. <laughs> well, I see. Well, we've reached the conclusion of the case, and it seems like your assessment is absolutely... Well, yes, I very well, detective. Uh, it seems my work here is done, and uh, yeah, in case you're still this far in the video, uh, maybe give Million Yen Woman a chance. It's not bad. We both think it's not bad, so go watch it. Thanks for watching the video. Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe, do the do the YouTube stuff. It, it helps. And I will see you at the movies. <laughs>